Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9. Welcome back to Let's Play Evo Land. Here we are in Augai City. <laughs> or Augai City. That's a reference, I don't quite get it. Welcome to Augai. Our village was once flourishing. Look at it now. The mana tree used to protect the whole country. Now something powerful has come to the Black Citadel and started corrupting the mana tree to spread the waste. I fear the whole of Algai will soon be go will be gone soon, and it will not stop here. Let's see, Black Citadel, mana tree, kind of getting a uh, secret of mana vibe here. <laughs> At least that's just me because of the mana tree. A really good, uh, more, more, uh, action-y RPG. Now loading! Hey, loading screens! With a disc! <laughs> Hi! I heard very worrying rumors lately. People say, e say even the sacred grove to the south has been corrupted. It was such a quiet and wonderful place. If that is true, I fear there is no hope left. It's not good. We enter this this place now. Okay, let's see what's over here. Now loading. <laughs> hey, treasure chest. Restless child. He keeps running all day long. <laughs> yeah, there always seems to be one of these in towns. It feels like. Hi. Running around is really tiring. I'd rather play with firecrackers. Firecrackers could be a bad idea. Card players. Ready for a game? All right. And expensive merchant. There's always people who profit from a crisis. Sad but true. It's hard to get supplies these days. Still, I have some quality gear for a very fair price. Rare cart, a thousand silver armor, two thousand fast DVD player, <laughs> five thousand. And back. <laughs> Silver armor. That's tempting. Yes, when there's a merchant like this, standing by, you know, a rug with wares, for some reason they usually are extremely expensive. Or if they're kind of like in a corner back alley like this, they're super expensive, but give usually good gear. Let's talk to the card players. I just love Double Twin. Not just playing the game, but also finding the cards. Most of them are quite easy to find, but the most powerful ones are well hidden. I'd love to see a complete collection one day. Well, I don't think I can do that because uh, of the that card I missed. Must keep our spirits high despite what is happening. I'm your man if you want to play a friendly game of Double Twin. Yeah, let's try it out. Choose the deck you want to play against. You'll unlock more decks if you win. Well, first, let's hear the rules. Each player starts with five cards drawn at random from his deck. Players take turns placing cards on the board until it's filled. You can capture your opponent's cards if you place an adjacent card with a higher power on the relevant side. Yay, it's Tetra Master. <laughs> player with the highest number of cards to his color wins the game. I was terrible at Tetra Master. Cards in hand also count as one point. In case of a draw, the challenging player, you, will lose. Why is that in RPGs? <laughs> Race games in general. If it's a draw, we lose. Why not just let it be a draw? Yes. Let's try it out. Take that. Okay. Let's... Um... Go here. Like that. See, the three is stronger than the three is stronger than the two, so we get this card. But the four was stronger, so it flips back. And that's how it works. You're well rounded. Let's go. Like so, for the eight. They get to go. Oh. 
in response, we're going to play ours here. That way, the 5, 5, and, and 1 are protected, because they can't get to the 1, and we have 5s on the side now. Let's... Let's play here. Let's take that one, and then he gets to go. Five. If it ties, they just stay there. We win, yay! Yeah, card player, you've won a game of Double Twin. I'd like to try another one. Maybe some other time. So there you go. That was the game from Final Fantasy VIII. That's how it played. You had to go collect a whole bunch of cards. Uh, the, some of the matches were extremely difficult. You had to have good cards to win. That's just how it how it was. I was never really good at it. I never really went and uh, collected a whole bunch of cards. Now loading. I wonder if we get the fast DVD player. <laughs> the ruins of Sardanach to the northeast hold many treasures and dangers. You seem like a nice guy, so I'll give you a discount on any bone mending if you go there. Oh, gee, thanks. Uh, sure. <laughs> save your game? Yeah. All right, saved. Uh, this looks like the way out of town. Can't leave yet. We need to talk to my uncle first. There's a big airship floating above his house. We'll find him easily. A big airship? Is, <laughs> is your uncle named Sid by chance? Just wondering. <laughs> or, or something close to Sid. Now loading. <laughs> this is something that happened a lot in, in RPGs. You had a lot of loading screens. In like the uh, PlayStation 1 era. Especially. Uh, every time you go to a new screen, there was a... Uh, you had to load. You had to load. Now loading, <laughs> but this, this, that's the price you paid for having a uh, updated graphics. I used to be an adventurer like you, then I took an arrow in the... Let's just say I had trouble sitting for a while. I would help you, but unfortunately I cannot fight anymore. Did you take an arrow in the knee? <laughs> Oh, that, that meme that took over the internet for a little while. <clears throat> Hi! <gasps> Uncle! Is everything fine? Hey, it's Sid! <laughs> it's like I knew. <laughs> Except with the S instead of a C. But it's Sid. <laughs> uh... Sid in Final Fantasy it, it seems to be this recurring character. He always shows up, and he's always either extremely good with uh, uh, mecha uh, mechanics or extremely good with an airship. It's a Sid thing. <laughs> in Final Fantasy Tactics, he was also one of the strongest characters. But uh, Sid just always seems to pop up in some shape, way, fashion, or form in Final Fantasy games. Karen, you're finally back home. A lot has happened here, and the waste have been spreading faster. Almost half of our guy is already gone. We need to act fast. Uncle, we got the power of the crystal and Claude's blade from the Noria mines. That should be enough to defeat whatever evil lies in the Black Citadel. Oh, and I found Sidro here to wield the sword. Hi. We're ready to go to the Black Citadel! That's good, but you'll need the Amulet of Gorn to enter the Citadel. It's been split in two parts. First one's in the Sacred Grove. You can find the grove south of Algai. I went there last week, and the cliff near the entrance has collapsed recently. You'll need a bomb to clear it. You should talk to Garen. The bald card player in the market. Got it. 
Used to be an officer in the army. Central, could you try to find the bombs so we could get into the sacred grove? During this time, I have to find a way to get stronger. I think I should not always rely on you protecting me. I'll go home and try to find something in my father's library. He was a mighty wizard, knew many powerful spells. Uh, okay, Karen. I'll turn you back later. Go talk to Garen about the bombs. All right. Will do. So, Karen is going to go try to uh, get strong is going to go try to get stronger. Her mother had a strong will too. Good luck. You got member leaves party. Being alone feels a bit lonely. <laughs> and that's something else that happens in RPGs sometimes. Sometimes you lose party members and they go away. Sometimes they return and sometimes they don't return. Hopefully, Karen will come back. HD backgrounds! That's a lot better. Sorry, can't help you. I don't know anything about bombs. Why would you want a bomb anyway? We're in enough trouble as it is. I've lived in Algai for 60 years. As far as I can remember, the Black Citadel has always been abandoned. Now some evil grows there again, as it did ages ago. Oh, let's go get the bombs. Now, Lodi. <laughs> Not that way. Silly me. Let's see. The bald card player. And I think while we're back here... Now loading. <laughs> Hi. Looking for a bomb? I retired from the Demacia army a long time ago. Is that a fact? Ah, kid. <laughs> I didn't keep this kind of things. You should talk to our nurse just north of here. She knows all the gossip there is to know about our guy and his people. Oh, so you don't have a bomb. All right. Let's talk to the nurse. Hi. Looking for bombs? She talked to that crazy old woman who lives near the well. Keeps all sorts of weird things in her cellar. Good thing I just received this new bomb to trade Major Burns. Oh, that's good. Hopefully that, uh, won't come in handy. <laughs> okay. This is another thing that sometimes happens in RPGs. You have to travel all around town to get something. It's just something that happens. <laughs> now loading. We will need 10,000 gold for the uh, rare card. Which I might try to get, actually. Bombs, you say? Hmm, yes. I have some in my cellar. They've been there since the war, but I'm almost certain they will still work just fine. But I'll only give them to you if you do something for me. You see, a dragon has been attacking the countryside, leaving only charred ground behind it. We need to get rid of the mighty beast. Deputy Raylan was on patrol this week. He should be able to tell you more. You'll find him at the entrance of the village. Okay. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> Again, lots of... You have to do this, then this, then this, then this, then this. Hi. Dragon? Well, I don't think anyone really saw a dragon. I did see the marks on the ground. Big round craters of charred earth. I even had to tell that kid to get back to the village. I always see him playing around the craters. Can't let children play near a dragon. Should talk to his mother. She lives in the house next to Sid's. House in the... House next to Sid's. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Come on. There we go. Ah. Damn chemists have stolen the bombs from the old lady's cellar. 
thought those firecrackers were a bit too big and heavy. Tell him to give you the bombs. I just hope they'll be safer in your hands. Oh, so he... <laughs> he was, uh... It wasn't firecrackers he was talking about. He was talking about bombs. Yeah, you should not be playing with bombs. Okay. Hi. My mother knows about the bombs. I'm in so much trouble. But it was fun, so it's probably worth it. Can I at least keep one? No. Oh, hi, Karen. Syndral. I learned a powerful spell. Did you find the bombs? Yep. Bombs! Handle with care. Great! Let's head to the sacred grove south of here. No time to waste. You learned a powerful new spell. Okay. First things first. I uh, still have some quality gear. Fast DVD player. I'm gonna buy the silver armor. Defense is increased. Could come in handy. And now we have bombs. Bombs. Crystal mastery scroll. Okay. Uh, silver armor. Okay. Now, let's get out of. Let's save. There you go. And leave town. However, going south of there is not the first thing we're going to do. We're going to see if we can backtrack a little bit. Take 34. What'd you learn, Karen? X crystal. Sure. Ah, nice. She now has an attack spell. 220 gills and 10 EXP. We're going to need the money. <laughs> so now she has an attack spell as well. Which gives her some more versatility. Now she doesn't just have to heal. Although we will have her heal. Hit the sun. There we go. And because there's no MP, there's really no reason for her to basic attack anymore. The crystal does more damage, and it doesn't cost anything. There we go. Ah, I like the, the look of it, too. 320 cash, 15 DXP. As we head back here. Oh, hi, turtle thing. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take care of you first, actually. Try to. Let's see how well you do against X Crystal. There we go, 29. As you see, he takes a lot more damage from magic. Sometimes enemies will have great physical defense, but not so much magical defense. And so you can take advantage of that. And hit. We're gonna head back in here. Inside the Nora Mines. You may be wondering why. Well, we got bombs now. Oh, jeez, why did I do that? <laughs> Test the button and we fight the boss again. Okay, well, at least we get to see him again. That's pretty cool. Give me the heart. Come on. Get down here so I can have you charge into the wall. No, don't fireball charge. There we go. Normal attacks do not seem to affect him. Didn't get to see that last time. Come on. I need you to I need you to charge. Thank you. Ow. 
Come on, charge already. Maybe we can get out of here. <laughs> there we go. Good. One more. Charge down here. Good enough for me. Die. <laughs> Don't hit the switch. <laughs> Break these open. Here we go. Now we have bombs. So we're going to place it. Make sure you get out of the way. You got excavations. You've used a bomb to blow up a cracked wall. There we go. And there's a star. Star of Evil Land. You found ten hidden stars. All right. Let's see. Was that the only? Yeah, because here's the here's the uh, exit to the mines, which brings us out this way. Enovel, let's... Bombs are a big find in uh, the Legend of Zelda series. Once you have bombs, it's kind of a good idea to go back through a whole bunch of areas. Because there are usually a lot of paths blocked off that you couldn't uh, couldn't deal with. Because you didn't have any, any uh, explosives. Once you have bombs, though, you can open up those paths and find stuff. And this is something else that happens quite a bit in RPGs, and that's backtracking. <laughs> You'll get a new item, and then sometimes you don't have to backtrack, but it's a really good idea because you can find stuff. Uh, sometimes you can find better gear, you can find secrets, treasure chests, you can find all kinds of things. So it really does pay to go back and look. Let's see, anything? Like here! See? And a treasure chest. A card skeleton. New card to play double twin. Okay. Hopefully it's a pretty good card. You might stuff you might find stuff like that where it's you find uh, something for one of the mini games that helps you out. All kinds of things. So when you find a major thing like bombs, which lets you go to different places, it always pays to backtrack. Never know what you'll find. Uh, yes, the Agile Adventurers. Here we go. Bomb. Red Wizard. Card. That should be pretty good. Here's another block path. And you can usually tell what what to blow up when you have uh because it has cracks in it. Looks like this lets us loop around and go back to the old town. Get rid of you. Heal. Back. X crystal, there we go. We'll just fight these enemies, get through here. We should get some good stuff. You start taking care of him, because you do more damage. <laughs> and I'll kill the Zumbas. Crystal. Actually, you healed this turn. We're taking quite a bit of damage. There we go.
Reach level 8. Attack is increased. And Karen reached level 8. Her defense is increased. Let's see. Up this road should be the town. We just need to get through these random battles. X crystal? Oh, not quite. 10 more EXP. So you cross the bridge. Oh wow, we go back. <laughs> I guess this uh, this village didn't get the upgraded graphics. <laughs> that happens. Uh, let's see. Yeah. yeah, it's only 10. All right, we're already back up to 5,000. Yeah, let's go ahead and save our game. Now we can go to that shop and buy the uh, that rare card that we didn't buy. Buy rare card. Imuk. All right. I think that'll work. There'll be no place to use the bombs here because we have no way to select them. <laughs> yeah, the caves. I don't think there was anything in the caves either. Well, wait a minute. Before we before we move on, it, it, it's really good advice to check every single place. And to be honest, I usually forget places. Yes, enter the well. I forget places like this, like down the well. I don't think there was a uh, rock or anything here. Block of the way, no there wasn't. But it's places like this that you may forget about. So when you get something like bombs, really go back. It may take a little bit of time, but it could be very well worth it if you find a great weapon or a great you know, piece of armor or a great accessory. Out we go. Uh, it, it could it could really pay off. So don't be afraid to take a little bit of time and backtrack. Even if it was a you know you feel it was a waste of time, you didn't find anything. It's good to get in that practice. Good to get in the habit of doing that. You know. Oh, now we can uh, traverse water. You know, we can walk on lakes. Oh, well, let's go back to areas where I can remember there was a lake and see if we can cross it and find something. Just things like that. Attack. Attack, there we go. It's a, a big deal. And not just, not just RPGs really, really use it. Number zero. Yeah, I can't really use my, uh, I guess we'll, we'll go this way. We'll fight through this cave and exit out the other side. Should be pretty much a straight shot up, just about. If I remember right. We have six potions. Okay. And this way we can get a lot of money as well. Go for zero. And the fights won't take too long. These enemies are weak. So we can get through them pretty quick. See, even the Torque, which used to take a little while to kill, falls pretty easily. Especially to Karen's X-Crystal. See, we're already back here, where we can uh, heal and save the game. X-Crystal. Save. Yes. Hey. Okay.
Ah, both missed. <laughs> oh, it's 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 just a really fun game. Oh, okay. Maybe I can't leave this way. I may have to go all the way back around. Hmm. This is the the problem with backtracking. It can take a little bit of time. But like I said, it could be completely worth it. Thank you. X crystal. Yeah, looks like we can't leave. Leave back that way. The crystal's not there. That's okay. Uh, reach level 9. Defense is increased. And Karen reached level 9. Magic is increased. So, this episode, a little over 30 minutes, I'm going to end it here. And I'm going to work my way back to uh, Owl Guy, or however you're supposed to, <laughs> supposed to pronounce it. <laughs> I'll head my way back there, and that way you don't have to see all the, all the backtracking. I think I've pretty much found, found the things to blow up with the bombs. But if I find something else along the way, I'll be sure to show it off. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Till the next episode, I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone. Whoa, oh, I'm going to add this at the end of the episode. Uh, it's a Chubbo code instead of a uh, Chocobo. Anyway, it's a Chubbo code. I was just walking outside, just got out of the mines. Or out of the cave, sorry, not the mines. The crystal cave. And here we go. It already hit me for 21. Ah, I hit Karen for 25. So we're going to treat this like a boss. Karen will heal. And I'll attack. You hit really hard. And I got that silver armor. Yeah, how hard it would be without. Chubbuco Hunter! That was indeed a big chicken. One <laughs> five burger catch and 20 EXP. And Chubbuco Meat! And that's a uh, achievement. Chubbuco Hunter. Raw Chubbuco. <laughs> okay, as you can see, you can see where I am now. Um, okay, apparently that's a just a, a rare chance to fight, so... Uh, you may want to try it yourself, but be careful. He, uh, he or she, it does hit very hard. Excuse me. Hit very hard, and All right, taking it on early, I don't know about that, because we do have quite a few levels. Uh, nine, uh, level 9, 13 defense for each character, so it could hit, it could hit harder without the silver armor and the levels, so just be wary of that, but wanted to show that off so I'll put this at the end of the previous episode I'll put it at the at, at the end of, of uh, episode 4 so uh, see you next time everyone <laughs>